You have to remember that patients really don't know what implants are. They're a way to give them teeth, and they have high expectations, high aesthetic demands, and it's up to us to put these implants in the most optimum position. It's going to give them the best aesthetic result as well as function, of course. That's why we're doing this. Um, so we use um, an instrument, again, that's been developed by the uh, folks at Golden called the MD Guide. And uh, as we know, it's very important on implant spacing. We generally want to be two millimeters between a natural tooth and the implant and three millimeters between implants because we need to have bone between those implants. And when the bone needs to have blood supply, if we put them too close, then we strangle the blood supply. So one of the solutions, and we're not going to be using um, a laboratory generated surgical guide, I call this the working man's uh, surgical guide, where we can plan the case right on the patient as you're placing the implant. So you have something, um, as you see in the upper part of this patient picture, um, a twist drill that fits in a handpiece, and uh, you can uh, check it, take it to the ridge, and look at it and see if this is uh, what you want. The diameter is about the diameter of the crown, so you know the end result before you actually enter into the tissue in the bone. So you see the various diameters and sizes has to do with the diameter of the crown. Next. So again, here's the demonstration. You see the photo on the right side. Uh, the diameter of the guide is the diameter of the finished crown. So again, um, it helps you plan your case so you are giving, uh, putting the implant in the most optimal position, not only uh, for the cosmetic and function to the opposing dentition. Next. So here's an example of the first one. We're going to be putting in two implants, replacing two molars, number 18 and 19. Next. So you see the first we enter in, the end of this is like a two millimeter twist drill. And then these are the guides. You then can place this in there and check it. You see in between the spacing and you see the space between the natural tooth and what the implant is where the implant's going to be placed. Next. So you enter in with the first drill, and again, uh, you can take a radiograph, check your position, check your angle as well. You have, uh, those of you that are just beginning in implant dentistry, you have wonderful teachers out there, and Dr. Kaczynski is a perfect example. He does many courses, courses for GPs, great courses to jump into the pool and get started. When we started, uh, we didn't have the opportunity to have experienced people, uh, people like Dr. Kaczynski, who's placed thousands of implants. And as we know, experience, there's no substitute. Next. So we see the two positions for the two implants. And again, it's going to be positioned so we have the optimum spacing and that the crowns are going to look like teeth. Next. So there's the implants have been placed. We used a flapless technique. Um, indications for that are wide enough ridges, keratinized tissue, and there's no surprises, no severe undercuts. Next. So again, we see the implants are lined up in good position to the opposing dentition. Next. And then they have the implants placed, and these are the Han implants. You see the configuration of the fins or the threads in the x-ray and uh, the configuration of the top of the implant, the collar um, or the neck of the implant, if you wish. And then we have the finished crown.